Hi there. I was just listening to the radio the other day and the new Tegan and Sarah song came out. I was super excited. It's called Be All Be Back Someday. And it had a lot of vibes of the old Tegan and Sarah sound because they wrote it when they were in high school or something like that. And the production is like their current production. So it's really great production. So it's just this great blend of two things that I love. Um, so I listened to it and I thought right away, I need to learn the song, but if I'm gonna learn the song, I might as well help other people learn it. So I made a chord chart and I just kind of go uh, section by section of how to play it. Uh, I'm assuming that you have some understanding of guitar already, so I'm not gonna be going into how to play guitar, just the structure of the song and the chords that we're using. Because it's Tegan and Sarah, a lot of the guitar shapes that we're going to be using are just power chords. So it's nice and simple, it's straightforward, it's a lot of down strums. So it's this kind of cool, angsty, aggressive, high school sound. It's great. So starting in the, in the first verse, we have uh, on the 7th fret, we're just doing an E power chord. to the A and repeat that and a lot of this is going to be kind of a uh, palm muting with our right hand so that's the verse it repeats that way a couple times um, and each time we go through the form that's the way the verse is played the E to the A and then the section that I call verse B, the second half of the verse, we go from the seventh fret, seventh fret to the fourth fret, which is the C sharp minor to the A, and we repeat that. And then we go to the bridge. Or sorry, the, not the bridge, we go to the pre-chorus. And the pre-chorus is interesting because it's not just straight 4-4. Four, four. Um, so the way that I think of it, I think of a, a bar of 4, and then a 2 count, a bar of 4, and then a 2 count. Um, so this is, this is the way it feels. into the chorus. So this is the bit that I've seen a couple people maybe not get 100% correct. It's, it's, it's kind of weird, so it happens. Um, once again, I'll just, I'll just count it. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then into the chorus. Um, which we're going to do the E to the C sharp minor to the A and the B. And that's the seventh fret, the fourth fret, open, and second fret, all in the A string. Um, and then there's kind of a second part to the chorus. Um, we're just switching between the A, the B, and the C sharp minor. And it goes through that same form a second time. So the verse section A and B, or this, the pre-chorus and then the big long chorus. Um, and after we've done all that, we go over to the bridge and it's, it's a bit of a different feel. There's like a synth line or some kind of a synth bass line that's going on there. Um, and this is another thing that you just kind of have to count and listen for. Um, we're going from E to A to B. And uh, it sounds like this. So if you're 
playing chords, the E. And then after the bridge, we go into the second half of the verse, which we were doing um, but the A and the B and the C sharp minor. But they change it up a little bit, um, and they go to an F sharp minor. So that's the second fret on the E string to the A to the C sharp minor and then over to the B and it's just a bar of each chord one two three four one two three four And then we go back into the pre-chorus, which is the funny counting bit. And then the chorus. Um, down below, I've included uh, the chart that you can just download. I found it really useful to be able to look at it, to see the, all, all the structure and to see the, the measures. As I said, the, the chords that we're using, they're mostly power chords. You can try using different chords, but um, it's pretty easy, it's really fun, enjoy it. Don't like, don't subscribe, because if you do, then I might have to make more content and I wouldn't want to have to do that. Thanks, bye bye.